Hey everybody, Spencer from 45 Drives, another Tuesday Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about text collectors in Prometheus. Alrighty, so Prometheus text collectors. Uh, as some of you may know, the metric stack that we use here at 45 Drives is made up of a couple components. Uh, Prometheus, which is, keeps a bunch of data, Node Exporter, which actually gathers that data, Grafana, that then turns that into nice and pretty graphs. Um, there's a number of collectors in Prometheus, or sets of data that Prometheus grabs. Uh, those are built in by default. You can also get extras of those. Uh, but one of the ways that you can pass data to Prometheus is through what's called a text collector. And a text collector basically just grabs a file, as long as it's named appropriately, takes whatever data is in that file and gives it to Prometheus. That opens up a lot of really cool features. Uh, for example, anything that has an output, any command with an output, as long as you can format it correctly, can be given to Prometheus for tracking purposes. So that's what we're going to cover today. We're going to cover how to get those set up, talk a little bit about why you may want to do that. Um, we're also going to show an example one that I created, but also just give the general steps of how anyone could make any collector. So we'll hop back into our computer and we'll start that process. So um, show you a little bit of the environment I have set up here first. Uh, we just have a fairly basic monitoring stack set up. Uh, so we have our local host. Um, I already deployed our monitoring stack. You can see Grafana's here. Our metrics are all here, the different values, and then Prometheus is over here. Um, we also should have, yeah, you can see our, our node exporter alerts are all here. So if we want to add a text collector, the first thing we're going to have to do is actually change uh, the node exporter um, service file, the one that generates the container. So to do that, we'll go to Etsy, system, D, system, and we can see here the node exporter service file is there. Pop that open. There's a couple things we're gonna have to add here. Uh, the first one is actually a directory for it to look for. So we'll add that here. Uh, we'll just use varlib node exporter, because that's easy. Alrighty. We'll also need to add um, the collector path. So we'll have to tell Node Exporter where it should look for. So we've given the container to the directory. Now we need to tell the service to actually look for that directory. So we'll give it dash dash collector dot text file uh, dot directory equals var lib node exporter. Exit of that. Now we'll just need to actually reload our daemon because we modified a systemd service file. We also need to make that directory that we added to our container. So we'll make varlib node exporter. Then we'll restart Prometheus. Then we'll restart Grafana. And we'll also restart Alert Manager. Alrighty. So now um, we can start making collectors. So I'm going to pull down a, a simple script that I've been using. Um, so I'm just going to pull down um, a script I made, a very simple one that just um, basically queries your zpool and then tells you if it's healthy or not. Pretty simple. So we'll download that. Uh, probably not into my systemd service file, but we'll move it to, I don't know, user bin local. And we'll just move it to user bin. User bin. And if I cat that script, I'm going to show you guys what it's doing. So all it does is it grabs the zpool status, looks if it's degraded offline or unavailable, so any state that you would want to look into. And then it outputs the format in the way that Prometheus likes to actually read the output. So I'll make that executable, and I'll just run it to show you kind of the example too. Ah, I have to make a zpool first. Figure. Create storage pool. Make a little mirror. There we go. Run the script again. Now if we go to cd var lib node exporter, you can see zpool status. That's the output. So it's whatever your parameter is going to be called, 
any label. So in this case, state equals online because my pool is online. And then this value here, uh, if it's zero, it just means it's not damaged. If it's one, then it's something unavailable, degraded, or offline. Um, so that's the directory that Node Explorer is actually looking at. So if I refresh our metrics page here, so at the very bottom of our metric page there, we can see zpool status, state currently equals online. So met, it's reporting properly into the metric stack. There's a couple things you can now do. Um, and this also comes with a story. The reason I had to make this script. Uh, currently, the uh, ZFS exporter, the collector that exists built in for ZFS, you can see a couple of its things here, like node ZFS, zil, things like that. Um, don't know why, haven't really looked into it too much yet. Uh, but the zpool status section of that collector is just not reporting anymore, uh, specifically in Rocky. So we're looking into fixes for that. Um, but in the meantime, I made a little script that does it for us. Uh, so for example, if I go into ZFS here, and I just offline one of the disks, offline disk, forcefully offline, offline. Then I go into our alert stack here. You can see that the zpool degraded state actually isn't firing because it's looking for this parameter that does not exist currently in, in Collector. Uh, so if we want MyScript to take that over instead, we want MyScript to handle that duties, all we need to do is change the alert to look for the variable that I use, which is this zpool status. So we'll do that right quick. That would be in Etsy, Prometheus, alerting. And we can see here ZFS alerts.yaml. We'll just pop open that. And we'll change our expression to look for my value, which is this. So z equals state equals degraded equals one. So now it's looking for that particular status. If I rerun my script, go into bar lib node exporter. We can now see that the current status is equal status equals state equals degraded, and then it flags that one parameter. So if we uh, restart alert manager so that it grabs that new config we made, and restart Prometheus, node exporter as well, because why not? can see here it is now looking for this particular status. Equal status state equals degraded equals equals one. And it is flagged currently. So you can see the alert is now firing correctly, which wasn't happening before because it was looking at the wrong parameter. And now if I just go back to our ZFS tab here and online that disk. So now that the disk is back online, if we go back to our script, and run it, and go back to Varlib Node Exporter, cut that file. And you see its state has now been updated, which means our alert has stopped firing. Uh, of course, you don't want to be running that script by hand all the time, so you can automate that in something like CronTab, uh, just make a consistent job. You could run it maybe every five minutes or so, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, and every time it'll check the pool. If it's healthy, it'll get rid of the alert. If it's not healthy, the alert will still stay. All right, so that was how to set up your text collectors in Prometheus. Um, of course, you can use my zpool exporter one. That is just on scripts.45drives.com, so you can pull that down if you want. I also made one for uh, determining the size of a Ceph directory, but besides the point. More importantly, uh, I hope you guys have kind of the information you need to make your own collectors. Uh, so start thinking about, you know, if there's any command you run a lot that you'd like to see the output for, maybe write it into a quick script, get it in cron tab, get it into your metric stack, and you can just see the output. You can even track the output over time. Uh, so with that, stay safe, guys. See you next time.